what's going on everyone time for another unboxing for this month it's july 1st happy canada day to my fellow canadians out there and most of my viewers are in the u.s but still Let's see what we got smaller order this time money wise anyway sure that in the frame here okay so probably guess what that is you might have seen that before grit guard bucket dolly this stuff is put it to the side and we'll unbox everything check that out we got a dirt lock. I've had grit guards in the past and also the chemical guys um, version of a grit guard as well. But I wanted to try out one of these dirt locks. So I got black for now because I'm kind of doing a wheel bucket here. But super high quality by the feel of it here. Made in Canada as well. I believe in Ontario somewhere. Kind of expensive but they're on sale right now at Carzilla. I think for $19 I want to say. And then, of course, you can get 5% off most things at Carzilla using Car Detailing 5 as a discount code as well. There's a little caster wheels. A little bucket cleaning uh, things, and they just thread in to tighten it down. Let's put that to the side for now. And then we got... I have to get one of these guys because this is for the... Um, the Metrovac, show you. And my Metrovac, I use it as a blower because I don't use the, um, I use the, the rigid vacuum as my vacuum. So the Metrovac is just a blower and I lost this. And for the longest time, it's just been sitting there. But having this on it, it basically does an amazing job with drying the car. If you don't have this, the air isn't as uh, concentrated if that makes sense but with it on way more effective let's put that to the side it might sound a bit nasally these allergies are just killing me all right now we got a gamma seal lid for the bucket as well hopefully this works i got myself a home depot bucket where'd it go just a plain old white bucket from Home Depot. I know it's not in the, in the frame properly, but my apologies for that. So hopefully it all works together with that. I'll put it together in just a second here and we'll see if it works. Got to loosely fit it on. Does it really seem like it's going to work? But we'll see. There's my bill. So this order was only $86 because I got $20 off in Carzilla points. Which, like I said last time, that's another reason to uh, shop at Carzilla. Their point system is pretty cool. Put that to the side. Always need to keep those receipts for taxes. I think that's all I got in this order. Yeah. Put this away. Yeah, not as big of an order this time because I'm feeling the pinch a little bit. Gotta start saving a bit of money here. All right, we'll put this, put this stuff together. I'm not gonna film all that, and then we'll cut back to the once it's all together. I wasn't gonna film this part, putting together the grit guard bucket dolly, but I figured, you know what? It takes two seconds, so why not? You got your five caster wheels there, just in case anybody out there, even one single person wants to see what this process is like, you might as well do it. Let me see, how much was this? So the bucket dolly cost me $54 and then the gamma seal lid cost $18.99. The Metro vac blower attachment was almost 10 bucks and then the dirt lock was 20 bucks. So these things aren't cheap. They're definitely not cheap, but the quality is there and I think they are worth it in the long run for that slight more added convenience. 
these down. It doesn't take a lot of effort to put them in, so that's pretty good. I don't know where this is made. Made in the USA. Check that out. There's a lot of knockoffs that you can get that are made overseas. Hopefully, being that it's made in the USA, it lasts a lot longer. We'll see. This is a test run for me. If I uh, if I like this bucket dolly system, then I'm going to convert all my buckets into that. It's not really necessary. It's a bit excessive, but it's not bad. Probably should have put the locking casters because there's two that are locking on opposite ends. But yeah, I can easily pop those out and adjust those if you have to. So that's all it takes to put that on. And then these little... Pull a knife out even though I can just rip that open. Have to be excessive, right? Thread those in. You know what? I could see these. So both are both sides are plastic, so it's not you're not, not really gonna have an issue with cross threading anything, which is good. Just make sure it threads in smoothly just in case. And because these are so adjustable, you can put a smaller bucket in here and it'll do just fine. Okay, I got the bucket kind of put together here and I actually had to cut the video because my iPhone ran out of memory, which happens. Gamma seal lid on this Hoffman plastics bucket. That's a basic bucket from Home Depot. I'm not sure if they have it in the States, but the same thing. The lid will work, but holy crap was that hard to put on. I had to put all my body weight into that to get it to pop in. And then I thought I warped it at one point, but I just kept uh, pushing it down and it went on there pretty, pretty nice now. And the other fear I had was what if it doesn't, the lid doesn't work anymore, but no problem at all. So if you can see that works perfectly fine. Just a little bit of a pain to get it on, but it is possible. A lot of the reviews I read on Home Depot's website said that the Gamma Seal lid is not compatible, but... I mean, so far, so good. The ring didn't split. The bucket didn't split. Nothing happened. So then we'll just tighten this down evenly so it stays centered. Or as centered as possible. Not even that big of a deal. You don't want to over tighten these either. You don't, you're not trying to squish the bucket. You're trying to lightly keep it in place. That's pretty much all you need. Good enough. A little tighter. There we go. So now, uh, the next thing we're going to put in is our dirt lock. And a couple of things to note about the dirt lock is that it's got these rubber grips on the feet that kind of let it come out. And it helps lock this thing in place. And then I actually put it in already once and I took it out. And the first thing I noticed was how tightly this sits in the bucket. So much so that I'm like, oh shoot, how am I going to get that thing out of there? And then I noticed here it says grip. So it actually has a place where you can put your fingers in there and you will be able to pull this thing out of the bucket if you have to. Otherwise it's a super tight fit. So if I go ahead and I put that in there now, push it down into place, that's not going anywhere anytime soon, right? Like it's not even moving at all. So I know sometimes if you, have a, you use a pressure washer to kind of um, activate your suds, you get the dirt lock or grit guard usually pops out not in this case okay now that I got that tight let's put the lid on and that's it so this this is actually gonna be my wheel bucket I didn't want to buy three sets of all this stuff just yet because it's a little costly to make your setup like this you need something like this to wash a car or detail absolutely not this is all excessive let's just get that 
clear right off the bat. But if you want something like this, you can get it from carzilla.ca. I'll put a link in the description below. You can save 5% using discount code CARDETAILING5. But I'm not trying to sell anybody anything. I'm just saying if you're already going to get it, then if you use my link and discount code, then I will get a little bit of a kickback from that. But buy whatever you want, right? And only if you need it. Don't hoard chemicals like I do. Well, there you go. If you made it this far in the video, I think you'll like the content I make. You should make car detailing reviews, um, reviews, unboxings, how-tos, sometimes just general automotive content if I feel like it. So I really think you'll enjoy my channel. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment, anything you want down below, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.